John Case with Line Drive Nation. You hear a lot of coaches say, stay behind the baseball or keep your head behind the baseball. Let's, let's look at the, this example of that with Kyle Schwarber. So there's his front foot landing position. We're going to put a mark on his head right here. You see he does a tremendous job. Look at his hands back. And watch his lower half drive right here. Let's go ahead and put that mark again on his head. It never moves, but he still drives his lower half. So he's staying behind the baseball or keeping his head behind the baseball as he drives him. You can even look at it. Let's put a, you know, you'll, you'll see he has some movement down with his head to where his front foot lands. But after that, when your front foot lands, you don't want that head to move anymore. But look, his back foot's back here. Watch, watch how he drives his hip so hard that foot comes off the ground. And it'll move to right there. All right, but his head... You know, never never moves at all. Stays still. Let's look at a couple more examples. Front foot down position there. Again, we're going to put that mark on his head. He's got his hands back. What a powerful launch position he has there. And again, staying behind the baseball with his head. Never moves. Once his front foot lands, let's mark it again. Front foot down. He's going to stay behind. Still driving the lower half forward. You see, again, he drives that lower half so much the back foot comes off the ground. Just a tremendous job. But that's what it means if you, if you hear a coach, somebody say, stay behind the baseball, keep your head behind the baseball. When your front foot lands, that head doesn't move, move forward anymore, just the hips and the hands.